that's, this cannot do it. That's where it stops. Alrighty, so, I don't know about you, but I can definitely tell that DeWalt drove it in further. And so today what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna do a versus video and have a little fun and see what the difference is between the, uh, the Makita brushless uh, XTT16 versus the DeWalt XR uh, FDCF887. All right, so now, I, this is my favorite impact driver from Makita. I'm hoping it wins, but if not, it's all well. Uh, this is my favorite impact driver. This is my go-to. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to doing any versus video between Makita and you don't use a regular battery, I do consider it uh, a little unfair because the Makita does not make any special batteries that are 21700 cells, but uh, DeWalt does, but we're going to use the uh, 4 amp hour regular XR battery for the DeWalt and the 4 amp hour for the Makita. So both of these have 18650 cells, so this is a 100% fair test. So uh, let's look at the specs of these really quick and get to it. So we're going to start out with Timberlocks first, uh, we're going to see on how well these do. Each of them we're going to drive in two, and then uh, each of them we're going to take out their two that they just drove in. All right, we got speed four. We have speed three. We'll do the DeWalt first. Right here is good. We are using healthy bits, uh, nut setter bits. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's have Makita drive one in right next to it. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. I feel like DeWalt got that one. I feel like DeWalt got that one. Right, let's drive in two more. We'll do the DeWalt. About right here is good. All right, so, ready, go. Time. Let's do Makita. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. I did mess up a little bit, but I recovered, so not there was probably no time loss. All right, so let's take out the De uh, DeWalt's first. All right, so ready, go. Time. Then next, the Makita. Ready, go. The Makita's is a lot quieter, though. I will say that. It's a lot quieter. I think DeWalt's winning. I think the, I, I was hoping the Makita would win, but I think the DeWalt got this one. Got this line of tests. All right, so let's take out the DeWalt's. Ready? Go. Time. And let's take out the final Timberlock. Ready? Go. Time. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know the time I found that out during the editing of the video, but I think DeWalt got that one. All right, let's do uh, eight, uh, six inch specs. Right here is good. Speed three. All right, ready, go. Time. Let's do the Makita. And guys, just so you know, I do see videos of construction guys doing this on the job site. Each of them have a, their own brand of impacts. It's actually hilarious. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Uh, that one's too close, to, too close to tell. Let's take DeWalt's out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Wonder which one. Yeah, it does seem that the the Makita has a brighter work area too. 
Yeah, Makita's is brighter. All right, so let's take Makita's out. Then let's switch to some lags. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so we're gonna do one four inch and one six inch each. As you can see, they both are the same size. Sorry, put those down. They are the same size. Up oh, the battery life on this is still at uh, full bars. All right, so ready, go. Time. That is it for that. Let's put the Makita's four inch in. Right here is good. All right, ready? Go. There we go. Time. As you guys can see, I do the work as soon as it, uh, it bites into the wood. I actually stay, take a step back and just let the tool do the work. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna drive, I do not know what the test results of those are, we're gonna drive in the six inch lag as well and then take them both out on one timer and see which one succeeds at that. I figured to do something a little bit different in this episode. Six inch next, we'll do the six inches right here. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, you see the six inch takes a little bit more work from the tool. All right, so let's do the six inch for the Makita right here. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. Now, both of the DeWalt's are on top. They're north of the Makita's ones. So let's take out the four inch and six inch at the same time on one timer. As soon as I take one out, I'll restart the timer as soon as it starts taking the other one out. All right, so ready, go. I thought I was gonna fail. Continue. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so let's take out the Makita's. <coughs> Makita is still full. All right, so ready, go. Continue. Time. I do not know what those test results are. Well, like I said, I find them out during the editing of the video. But yeah, uh, I think we should do one more test. Let's do an 8 inch by 5 eighths inch lag. Galvanized lag. This is going to be a doozy. Then after this, we're going to take a temperature reading for both of them. I'm hoping that this uh, quarter inch hex to a half inch adapter survives. It doesn't snap on me. All right, I got my temperature gauge right here. All righty. All right, ready? I'm hoping that my adapter survives. Ready? Go.
going to call it there. I don't think it could take withstand anymore. Where's the battery at? Battery is at two bars still. Let's continue. Let's see if it can do it. All right, so let's continue. Let's actually put this up here so you can see if it moves. Continue. That's, this cannot do it. This cannot do it. The temperature final, it's still going to be cold because it's cold in here. 67 degrees. Yeah, 71, 74. 74 degrees is the coldest, uh, hottest it got. But it, it is unable to do it. Right here is good. It's on speed four. All right, so ready? Go. Yep, we're going to consider that done as well. Uh, I did the same thing for the DeWalt. Let's let that sit for a second, and then let's continue. Yeah, but that hammer is majorly skipping, so that probably means it, it cannot proceed. But it might be able to do a tad bit more. Let's rotate that to where you can see that. All right, let's continue. That's where it stops. Alrighty, so I don't know about you, but I could definitely tell that DeWalt drove it in further. DeWalt definitely drew, drove it in, th in further. There is, a, there is a little step right there. So, yeah, DeWalt got that one. DeWalt got that one. They both failed to drive it in, but the DeWalt got that. Go. All right, so let's first do the DeWalt. This is the XR 20 volt max. This model number is DCF887, quarter inch X collet. Uh, this has three speed settings. First speed, zero to uh, 1000 RPM, zero to 2800 RPM, zero to 3250 RPM, and 3800 impacts per minute. All right, the battery is full. It does have a tri-LED beam on the front, which it does have like a, a little diffuser to where it doesn't blind the uh, person next to you at a certain angle. As you can see, I, I do love that feature. Is this a quick insert collet? Let's see. Yes, it is. You don't need to adjust the collet, but you do need to adjust it to take it out. And so, yeah. All right, so this is the Makita. I love this thing. It is extremely compact. Uh, this does have a glow-in-the-dark ring for uh, if you want to uh, find your tool in the dark. And this is model number X, XDT16. This actually has a lot of speed modes. And also, I love the feature that you can change the speed mode with uh, this button right here underneath the housing for the anvil. So as you can see, it's changing the speed setting. I love that feature where you don't actually don't need to go to the base. And so this uh, has four speed settings and different types of modes. There's crazy combinations. All right, so speed one is 0 to 1100 RPM. Speed two, 0 to 2100 RPM. Speed three, 0 to 3200 RPM. And on speed four, 0 to 3600 RPM. So the max speed is 350 more RPMs than the XR and the impacts per minute is the same so uh the, the makita is zero to zero to 1100 impacts per minute 
to zero to 2600 impacts per minute and zero to 3600 impacts per minute and speed four zero to 3800 so on the max speed they have the same impacts per minute all right let's see. quick insert collet yes it is just need to adjust it to take it out and it does have two led beams on the side which i love that and so yeah which one's more loud which one's louder yep the dewalt is definitely more louder than the makita and as you can see the size difference much more compact i love the way how this is how this is in your hand all right so let's see what these can do against each other <laughs> 